Welcome everyone to tonight's broadcast of Lady Senator Basketball here at West Washington where the Lady Senators do take on the Mitchell Blue Jackets. Lady Senators are riding high after coming off a win at, not at, at uh, West Washington where they were able to beat the Salem Lady Lions. I'm joined tonight by my broadcast partner, Mr. Ryan Batt. Yeah, Craig, hey, it's, uh, it come off a great win there the other night against Salem. I think uh, uh, Senators come in here, they kind of played with Salem a little bit. Maybe they, uh, we thought they was going to get out and go a little bit faster and, and uh, maybe we, their rhythm was a little bit slower. But I tell you what, you know, I think they look gamed up tonight. I've watched them here in warm-ups a little bit. Uh, I think they're on fire, ready to roll. Yeah, you know, the, the Lady Senators came out and, you know, were, were a little slow in that Salem game, weren't able to knock down the shots. But then we saw in the about halfway through the third quarter, they really kind of turned it around, put some pressure on, and started moving, um, you know, up and down the floor pretty quickly, which is the pace that the Lady uh, Senators want to be able to play. I was able to sit down with Coach Messmore and, and talk with her about that game. You know, she was she kind of had the same feelings that we just talked about that third quarter. Um, about halfway through, they kind of got a spark and, and really got going. Yeah, well, you know, like coming in that game, you know, we, you know, as we talked right before the game started as we are now, we talked to the, at the speed, the momentum going, we was going to run, attack the basket and everything, and it was kind of like we played with the, with the Lady Lions. Uh, uh, you know, uh, we, we kind of just kept doing what they would do. What, they kind of put us where they wanted us, uh, ran the 2-3 zone against us and, and just kind of held us back a little bit. And, and uh, you know, it wasn't until, like you say, that midway through that third quarter, we kind of got a spark and and uh, got to rolling a little bit and then was finally come out and, and uh, claimed a good victory on that night. Well, looking at the past, it was Salem. Looking at the future, it's the Mitchell Blue Jackets. They're under a new head coach. Um, Dakota Brasher is their, their new head coach. He has yet to get his first win. They are 0-8 on the season. Um, you know, really playing some girls who are, um, you know, they're, they've, they're young. They've got only one senior on their team, so they're a young team overall. But, you know, just trying to find a rhythm and what works with his group of girls so far. Yeah, I, I noticed on that roster that you sent out early to me in the week, you know, the, the, the grades the grades are pretty equal, you know, on these two teams here. Uh, you know, one senior there for uh, Mitchell, and then, you know, obviously we got Shelby that plays a lot, and then uh, uh, coming back again to uh, uh, Evo Tool, you know, coming in every now and then again on the varsity. But, uh, uh, you know, the – it's a it's a great thing for both schools. You got young young girls coming in here that's going to start playing more. They're going to start working together. Uh, you know, maybe we're just a little bit more advanced than they are coming in. We, you know, our coach's got two years under her belt, where their coach is just kind of coming right. in and getting to know everybody. So, I think that'll play into effect come next year and year after for these young girls. You know, and it's it's been a, a jinx of um, you know who can who can beat these uh, Mitchell Blue Jackets. The the Senators are twenty. Sorry, one and 20 against this team. They've only beat them one time. It was back in 2016-17 when uh, now AD coach Darren Russell was able to get a win. Uh, I believe it was his very first year of coaching here on this floor to break that streak. Um, you know, there there have been some really good, talented programs here at West Washington that have not been able to beat this Blue Jacket team. Um, you know, just a just kind of a, a jinx on the Senator program. Is the is the Mitchell Blue Jackets? Yeah, I, I didn't know that. I, I, coming into it, that's something. Uh, I like these facts that you throw out there to me. <laughs> I, I, we, we learn something new every game if you pay attention on broadcast. But but like I say that, uh, yeah. I mean, we had some talented teams. We had some sectional teams in there. Yeah. I know in the in the early uh, you know in the 2000 mark, and then we had some teams in there, and in, in uh, I believe it was in the 14 15 era in there. Yeah. You know, went on win sectional stuff like that. You know, and I did not know that we didn't have a. Uh, you know, a, a really successful uh, victories against. It, it's going to take it take quite a while for the Senators to even out that um, deficit there. You know, one and twenty against a team. It this this may be the team to to spark it and and have the Senators turn it around and maybe they go on a 20, 20 game win streak over the next twenty years. Um, you know, I know your girls probably probably will have something to do with that if that's able to be done, but. You know that's a that's quite a feat. There's not many many programs out there that that hold that over the Senators. Yeah, that, yeah, I know you said there about the Salem game there uh, last week when we was on here uh, that they had, you know, the, the deficit was similar yeah. as, uh, to what it was the, to this one. But I had no idea that Mitchell had, had uh, we had only pulled one victory out there in 20 years. So uh, definitely definitely got a momentum group, a good momentum uh, started with these girls here. Uh, and, and, you know, the girls coming up also in the lower grades. I hope we can turn that around here in the future. 
You know, the, the lady senators, there's no surprise. They're led in scoring by Meredith Deaton. Um, you know, she's kind of the, the do-it-all guard for them. And then Jay Labatt down low is, is you know, handling, handling a lot of the, the post, the wing area for them. Mitchell really doesn't have girls that match up to them size for size. Um, same way, kind of going the other way, Jillian Bond for uh, the, the Blue Jackets, the 5'11 junior, or far, sorry, 5'11 senior. Um, you know, just a just a big body that is going to be a, a matchup. You know, down low. I my guess is we're going to see Ava Woods on her. Um, you know, she's more of a, a traditional post. You know, instead of a wing, if she was a wing, you know, Jayla would be taking her on the wing. So, um, you know, an interesting uh, kind of matchup for for the Senators with a, a traditional big. We haven't really seen right. a traditional and, big and yet. And that's one of those things where, we, you know, like we've kind of been struggling with Ava here uh, as far as the Senators for this year. You know, she comes in and maybe catches some catches some fouls, and uh, and, and Ava's probably more of one of those traditional post players as well. And, you know, like I say, I think it'll be great to see her get a matchup and get some more confidence back in her and, you know, keep her hands straight up and reduce the fouls that she normally gets there in the first quarter. And, and uh, you know, I, I think that'll be a great matchup tonight. You know, and I also think we're going to see kind of a, a, a big rotation. I talked with Coach Messamore. She's got ten girls that she's played in almost every game this year. And it's no surprise they're, they're talented from top to bottom. It's not a, you know, there isn't a, a step down once she brings in kind of that second unit. It, it, they're still just as good as that first unit. And I talked with her about how do you get, get girls playing time? You know, everybody wants minutes. Everybody wants to see the, see the floor. So how do you, how do you, how do you, you know, spread that around. And her answer was, she goes with who's on that night. So, you know, it, it may be, you know, Meredith's night, it may be Jayla's night, it may be, you know, Shelby Griffiths had a, had a night where she right. had, I yeah. think it was 16. So, yeah. you know, whoever whoever is having a hot night is who's on the floor. Yeah, and, and, and I, I think I think uh, Coach Messmore does a great job with that. I, I mean, I've been to, I think, every game maybe I missed one there uh, so far. And, and, you know, I can't tell you that there's five girls on the court that's the, the five that we're going to play. Yeah. Uh, you know, we, we similar start the same five every game. But, uh, you know, throughout the game, I mean, it's usually two minutes in the game we're throwing people in. Yeah. You know, five to ten minutes, in, you know, in the, in the first half, we're, we've already substituted four or five people. Uh, there's nothing at all wrong with that. And, I, and you know, that, that shows talent all the way down. And, and as we started, you know, talking in broadcast earlier in the season, you know, if Jayla or Meredith comes out, we don't lose any size. We don't lose any, any height. We don't lose dimension. We don't lose anything. You know, these girls, just for guard levels as well, you know, like, we're kind of one for one. If we take one in, we get one out, and we don't let we don't lose speed, we don't lose talent. And these girls here, I, I tell you, I, I still stick behind them, Craig. I think I think there's lots of big things going to happen with these girls. I agree with you. Um, you know, and you can you can just kind of feel it in the gym tonight here in T. Kermit Tower Gymnasium. You know, it, we've got three games going on. We've got a, a junior high game in the front gym. We've got elementary in the back, but. Even in here, we've got the pet band going. You know, got a pretty decent crowd of, of people when you consider, hey, we're divided amongst three gyms. Um, you know, Mitchell brought, you know, quite a few people. So it, it feels like a, a, a basketball night Yeah, it, it sure does. I mean, it, it, I tell you what, just walking in here from the – we was in the junior high game with Amity in the first uh, first part of the – didn't get to see a lot of JV action. But, you know, as we come in here and we start talking, I, you know, you could just feel the atmosphere was different. I don't know if there's more people in here than there was a couple weeks ago, but <laughs> it just seems like there's a different atmosphere. Like, you you nailed it on the head. I mean, the, the you know, the, they've got some cheerleaders over there. Uh, everybody's kind of going 100%, and I, I think it's going to be a great game. You know, and you, you mentioned the cheerleaders. It's funny. It's it's hard to get the cheerleaders here because a lot of them are on the basketball team. That's true. So I know Coach Miss Moore said yesterday she was um, – she she installed a new play and the girls were cheering the <laughs> the name of it in, <laughs> at practice. So um, you know it's one of those kind of an interesting interesting thing for for her to be able to have those cheerleaders, but then also basketball players, just all around athletes here at West Washington. Yeah, yeah, these girls here, I tell you, uh, I'm just I'm, I'm grateful to be part of the part of the the program here and and uh, to see these girls grow up and and you know become young adults and and you know they they play the game good and they play the game smart. We are about 30 seconds away from our national anthem. Um, we've got the pet band in the building. I don't know if they're doing it or if we've got – oh, no, I see Hannah Ledgewood down on the floor. So I think she's going to be singing it maybe. Um, so we're going to step aside for our national anthem, and we will be back with our starting lineups in just a moment. At Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance, we're not just good at insurance. We're good at Emma and Jake's just baby-proof their two-bedroom bungalow to prepare for baby number one insurance. 
We're good at Madeline and Chances just gave in and became minivan people to make room for baby number two insurance. And we're good at Gabby and Nate's just moved to a house with a bigger backyard to welcome fur baby number three insurance. Start with Indiana Farm Bureau insurance and stop knocking on wood. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled banner wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave back to action here at West Washington where the Lady Senators are taking on the Lady Blue Jackets tonight. We're waiting for Claude Combs, the PA announcer, to start on the lineups. Like we said, the Lady Blue Jackets have yet to get a win this season for their coach, Dakota uh, Brasher, who is the first year head coach. They're gonna start a two guard set with uh, Leanne Thompson who is a freshman. Their second. Uh, well, they're gonna go with a freshman, Gwen Eastridge. A sophomore number one, Presley Moglin. Then number 12 forward, uh, Bailey Dix. And then the final one in their starting lineup is Jillian Bond that we talked about, the 5'11 senior. The Lady Senators going to go with their traditional starting lineup that they've ran all year long. Starting lineups for them, Shelby Griffiths, number 12, the 5'4 senior, averaging four points, two rebounds a game. The second guard in their three guard set is Emma Schmidt, the 5'4 junior, averaging four points, three rebounds. And then the third guard in that three-guard set is Meredith Deaton, the 5'8 sophomore, averaging 16 points and seven rebounds a game. Then they go with two bigs. The first one is number five, Jayla Batt, the 5'7 sophomore, averaging 13 points and nine rebounds. And rounding out that starting lineup is number 32, Ava Woods, the 5'10 junior, averaging five points, five rebounds a game. They are coached by Kristen Missimore in her third or in her second season here she's 13 and 17 in her two years here 39 and 51 overall so we're ready for the game to start ready for the opening tip looking for a good one here yeah looking for a good one here on the on the home court uh, you know and then we go we travel to perry central there on uh, monday <laughs> night so uh you know let's make a good one here on the home court yeah that trip to Perry's always fun. Yeah. So, looks like we're going to get Bat and Bond jumping center here. Everybody set, everybody ready, ball up. Bond tips it, but Bat comes out with it quickly ahead to Ava Woods. Ava Woods up and good for two. That's the way the Senators want to start. Then we're going to get a kick ball out of bounds. Bond going to take it out underneath. Senators pressing here. They did real well on this press. 
Well, and what's nice with the Senator defense, they can switch everything. So. Yeah. Lady Jackets able to get it over half court. Comes up to Bond. Bond at the free throw line. Nice move. Goes up in the lane. That one up and good for two for her. We talked about that earlier, Craig. You know, the bond between uh, or the, the matchup between Bond and Woods tonight, uh, that could be the deciding factor. Yeah, yeah. Off to bat in the corner. She drives. Bond steps in. Jayla gets it up on the backboard. No good. Shelby Griffiths with the rebound. Her put up back's no good. The Jacket's going to come out of there with it. Thompson handling the ball out top. Comes around to Dix. Nice cut there. That one up, no good. Schmidt comes out with the rebound. Yeah, Schmidt got a good rebound there. She boxed out and got up and sealed. Bat out on the run, up and good for her first two of the night. Makes it four to two early. Mitchell gonna turn that one over, their first turnover of the night. You can tell that the Senators want to speed this game up yeah, a they, lot. Yeah, you can tell. You can <laughs> tell. They're dragging around just wanting to go and go and go. And yeah, it's pretty exciting. Off to Deaton on the wing. Comes around the top to bat over to Schmidt. They're going to reset up this offense. Drops down into Schmidt. Schmidt goes up for a shot. That one no good. Bond comes out with the rebound. Yeah, Bond comes out with an Emma Schmidt down there in the in the middle of it, though. Yeah, littlest girl on the floor. Good. She'll be able to tip that one away. That one gets into the front court to Bond. Bond going to set up the offense, get it moving. Off to Thompson. Thompson around the corner. Moglum misses that one. And then I think Woods is going to pick up the foul here on the rebound underneath Jillian Bond with that rebound. So Ava Woods is first personal. Bond to the line. First one up, no good. You can tell Bond's leadership here is being a senior for the jacket. She's kind of controlling the momentum and the tempo of the, of the offensive end of the court. Yeah, and she knows her team doesn't want to get out and run with the Lady Senators. So second one up and good for her, her first point of the night. Sorry, her third point of the night, not first point, third point. Thompson Garden, uh, Meredith, and uh, Gardner tight. We're going to get an over and a back turnover for the Lady Senators. Shelby went one way, Meredith threw the ball the other. So. Eastridge going to take the ball out of bounds here. They're going to get it into Thompson. Shelby going to pick up the foul there. Yeah, it's one of those things we talked we talk about Shelby moving her feet. You know, we, she got in foul trouble there the first couple games and uh, uh, just moving your feet and playing with the little girl. You know, give, give a little bit of a hand check, but stay back just a little bit. Don't, don't want to get beat on that first step. Ball comes into Bond. Woods able to get her hand on it, so a deflection for her, but Lady Jacket's going to keep possession. Thompson back and forth. Shelby hounding her. Wood's going to get her second. So now the question is, where does Coach Messamore go? Does she go to Layla Manship? That's who she gets That's up. She picks. That's who she gets up off the bench. You know, we, t we talked about Ava, you know, moving, moving her feet, you know, like something like that, probably not a, something you have to go actually get. Yeah. You, know, it, you know, let her get the ball down there and tr then try to do something with it. In the corner to Thompson. Thompson gets tied up by Deaton, and then we're going to get a travel. Murder could have easily got a foul there, reaching yeah. in. So the ball comes into Schmidt. Off to Deaton. Up top to bat, comes down to Griffiths. Griffiths gets bumped. That one no good. Rebound comes off to the Lady Jackets, and away we go the other way. Yeah, that was a nice play by the Senators. Yeah. Just that little bump got that shot off. So Yeah, I'm not so sure she didn't kind of stick out and, and tap her a little bit harder than what I'd like to see. But Bond on. for three. That one no good. Shelby's wanting to run. 
Comes across to Schmidt, over to Deaton. Deaton looks at a three very quickly. No, no shot there, so back out to the point guard around the top. Bat with a drive. Bond steps up off to Griffiths. Griffiths in, gets that one partially blocked. Griffiths tries it again. That one's short, no good. Manship with the rebound and then gets fouled. Yeah, Shelby's, Shelby's took it to the hole. Yeah, our littles are, are doing great. You know, it, it's good offense when the littles go in and, and get the rebounds and, and drive to the basket. You know, Shelby's been blocked a couple times and hit pretty hard, and she's still going to the hole. Manship's first free throws of the year. She misses that one. Layla, the 5'8 sophomore. Steps up to the line for a second attempt. Better form. That one up and good for her. Makes the score five to three, Lady Senators. Ball comes into Dix. Off to Bond. Bond going to hit the floor, and then Shelby Griffith's going to pick up a foul. That's going to be her second. Just another one of those simple fouls there. In comes Lily Thompson. Again, when the Senators substitute, we don't, we don't lose speed. We don't lose size. Thompson comes in for Griffiths with her two fouls. Ball comes into there, Thompson. Back off to Bond. Bond goes over the top to Kirkman. One up and no good. Kirkman with the rebound, but we're going to get a jump ball. Going to stay with the Lady Jackets. Goes over the top, off to Thompson. Thompson for a deep two. That one no good. Senator's going to come out with the rebound, but then turn it over. Ooh. I believe Thompson might have <laughs> tripped Thompson out there. <laughs> yeah, we got everybody on the floor. No call. We're going to come the other way with the Lady Senators. Bat is hounded out top, off to Thompson. Oh, turnover there. Going to come the other way. Going to be a miss by uh, Kirkman. And a rebound by Bat coming out. And then Kirkman's going to pick up the foul. In comes Macy Lowry for Jayla Bat. We've yet to see, you know, really Meredith Deaton or uh, Jayla get going here. So. Yep. And that's one thing we had. We had Thompson on Meredith to start with, face guarding up front. And now we've back back to Eastridge's on her. Uh, but they're not really playing her that tight. Lowry tries to force it in there. There's a miss. The Senator's misses. able to rebound it. Emma gets the rebound but and then, then turns it, it over. Yeah. <laughs> Bond the other way. That one up and no good. Not a very good shooting night for either team. You know, Craig, this is turning out to be kind of like the Salem game here. We, you know, you can tell the Senators wanting to roll. They're wanting to get out and go and, and make something happen, but we're just we're just not getting those passes. The, you know, we got to get some more crisp passes. We're doing bounce passes. It ain't like they're over the head. We're just not making very smart passes. Senators two of eight so far for 25%. Deaton goes in and gets her first two of the night to help that out. So uh, the Lady Jackets are only one of eight. So Thompson for three. That one no good. Going to try to be saved in, but unable to do so. Uh, Sowers checks in. Number three, the junior. Senators looking to get something going here. It just, they don't quite seem to be in the offensive flow yet. Thompson down the lane, runs into Bond. That one no good. Lowry tries to get the rebound. Not going to get that. But Bond's going to be on the line, so it's going to come back to the Lady Senators. Yeah, maybe we get something working out of this out of bounds. We're just, 
We're, we're wanting to do big things, and we're, we're just a, a second behind. Deaton for three. That one hits every bit of the rim and then yeah. drops through, so it gives her five on the night. Schmidt with the rebound into Thompson, back out to Deaton for three. That one doesn't fall. Manship gets the rebound underneath, but then is tied up. That's a great box out by Layla in there. You know, Finn pushing back uh, Bond there to get that rebound and then going, trying to get something done and getting, get drawing a foul. Bond's first foul. Comes into Schmidt. Schmidt with a nice move. Dumps it off to Deaton. Deaton goes up strong for a two-point bucket for her. Thompson with another steal. Goes over the top to Manship. Manship looked at a three for a second, but not going to pull the trigger on that one. Out to Lowry, around to Schmidt. Schmidt feeds down to Thompson. Nothing there. That went through three sets of legs before the yeah. Senators turn it over. We did get a little rhythm going there. Yeah. Then Thompson going to come back and turn it over the other way. So that makes it five turnovers apiece. Just not yep. in in rhythm here. It just doesn't seem to be going. Yeah, we got We just got to get slowed down. I think a little bit. I think we just need to run some basic offense. And I think everybody's kind of wanting to drive to the basket and, and maybe just pull out, pass the ball four or five times, and then see what we got. You know, and and the Senators are up twelve to three here, so it's not like they're not playing good. Right. That's a deep three point miss. But going to come out with the rebound. And then get a two-point miss. Yeah, that was as about as wide open as you could get right there. Yeah, Thompson comes out of there with the ball. So, Senator's going to set up their offense, see if they can get something going here. Hand off to Lowry around the top. Over to Deaton. Deaton to Schmidt. Schmidt looks to pass to Lowry. Not there, so comes back to Deaton. Nice little give and go there. Senator's unable to get it going. Layla's in there working hard. Yeah. I, you know, it's a, this is a great game for Layla to, to pick up some momentum at. Uh, I think she's in there boxing out, doing a great job. That foul comes in on Kirkman, so that's her second. She's going to be replaced by Dix, going to come back in. Seems like Mitchell runs a, a kind of a man-to-man, -man, but they all it's a kind of a collapsible man-to-man. -man. When yeah. someone starts to go, they all know to collapse to the middle. Schmidt tries to get that one over Bond. Bond with a block there. So going to come back the other way. Pulls up for three. That one short. Lowry with the rebound. So that's going to bring us to our first quarter where the Lady Senators do lead 12 to 3. We're going to step aside to have a commercial break and be back in just a moment. United Producers, Inc. We are the largest livestock marketing company in the world. We currently have 17 auction markets and 23 direct buying stations across Indiana, Kentucky, Ohio, Michigan, Tennessee, and Illinois. Our goal is to market your livestock to maximize your dollar while implementing animal safety procedures. To find your local market, visit our website at uproducers.com or contact Ryan Batt at 812-620-0769. Again, that is 812-620-0769. Farmer owned, farmer values. Back to live action here at West Washington. I want to give a shout out to all of our sponsors, especially Ryan Bat, you know, sitting next to me, sponsor for live stream, both on the boys and girls side, along with football and um, our spring sports. So big thanks to him for doing that. And if you need um, your livestock marketed, give him a call. They gave his phone number there. So 
Yeah, give me a text. <laughs> <laughs> Senators come out, get the ball to start the second quarter. The Senators start with the same five that they ended the second or the first quarter with. So comes across the top to Thompson. Thompson with the drive, leaves it off to Manship. Manship gets it blocked. Thompson with it back and goes up and gets that one for two. Nice job by Lily Thompson. Yeah, we've not seen a lot out of Lily this year as far as just getting the momentum kicker going. She's out here uh, probably playing one of her better games this season so far. Thompson gets by over to um, Bond. Bond puts that one up. It's no good, but then gets the rebound. Thompson, sorry, Meredith Deaton comes out with that one. So two misses for the Lady Jackets there. Senators back to their offense. Handed off to Deaton out top to Lowry. Lowry back to Deaton. Deaton with a shot fake. Over to Thompson, around the top, down the lane. Thompson gets that one up in the air, going to go to the line for two. Yeah, Mitchell's came out with their Thompson, guarding Meredith again, again face guarding her in, yeah. in the second quarter. And, you know, that, that'll play a factor on Meredith getting the ball because that girl is pretty fast. Right. Lily Thompson steps to the line where she's a 75% free throw shooter on the year, misses that first one. Senators one of three so far tonight. Second one no good either. Mitchell comes out with that rebound going the other way. Dix doing the ball handling underneath the bond. Bond, a couple of dribbles, nice spin move and goes up. Manship going to pick up that foul. Like I said in the pregame, Bond is a traditional big. She's going to play with her back to the bucket, you know, a couple of dribbles, and then she's going up with it. Yes. So, Bond already with three points tonight. That makes it four. Makes the lead 10, 14 to four. 6.34 left to go in the first half of play. Bond to attempt her second. Let that one fly, and it's good. Cuts the lead to nine. Apparently somebody forgot to guard Schmidt. She leaves it off for Lowry. It's no good. Bond going to get that rebound, and then Manship's going to pick up her second foul. We're going to go with a small lineup now. We've got Adele Brown on the floor replacing Manship, so that moves Macy Lowry to the center position. Bond one dribble and that one goes up, no good. Deaton down the lane, off to Lowry who then gets that one blocked. Jackets back the other way. Thompson dribbling there. Going to get a timeout to the Mitchell coach. Going to be a 30-second. We're going to take a 30-second timeout. Let us catch our breath. We'll be back with you in just a moment. In every family, small conversations can make a big impact. I grew up on tour with my parents. Kind of different, but we bonded over music, and we talked. Honest conversations, like when my dad shared his experiences as an alcoholic. Your honesty gave me a sense of integrity that I wanted in my own life. And I wanted you to know from someone who's been in recovery more than 30 years now that hard work is what creates success, not alcohol or other drugs. In whatever you do, talk, they hear you. Back to action here on Ron Smith Court where the Lady Senators do lead 14 to 5 over the Mitchell Blue Jackets. It's going to be jacket ball out of bounds. Bond going to inbound. It comes into Thompson. Thompson a couple of dribbles where she's hounded by R. Thompson. And then she's going to dribble it off her foot for their fifth turnover of the night. 
sorry, sixth turnover of the night. 5.36 left to go here in the second quarter. Adele Brown to Deaton. Deaton looks at a three, nothing there. Going to hand it back off to Adele. And going to be out of bounds. Nice deflection there by uh, Souders. Ball's inbounded to Brown. Back to Deaton. Deaton off to Schmidt. Schmidt down the lane, leaves it off to Jayla Bat, who's able to get her first, or sorry, her second bucket of the night. Gives her four. Yeah. Got foot just a little bit. Jayla's going to pick up the foul on that one. <laughs> I think Bond has drawn she, she's six drawn fouls against us. Tonight. Yes, and the only one that wasn't on her, Shelby picked up about 60 feet from the bucket. <laughs> so. right. Bond steps up and misses that one. Makes Mitchell three of five tonight for 60%. Elena Schmidt comes in for Lily Thompson. On second one, no good. Going to be a 30-second timeout. We're going to stick with you here. The, Ryan, the Senators just look to be kind of out of out of sync. They just yeah, we just seem to be out of out of uh, rhythm or something. I don't know. I, maybe we're doing this pregame predictions too <laughs> wrong here. I think I think we need to call it that we're going to come out and be slow and lagging behind well, a little bit. And, and that's the thing. We played kind of slow and and not real well in the first quarters of the first three or four games, and then we kind of turned it around. And now it seems like we're kind of going back to it. Yeah, and and you know, I, I, in all honesty, I'd rather be that way. I'd rather <laughs> finish really good. Yeah, finish really strong. Yeah, yeah. Like I say, seems like we've had a lot of teams come through where we, we play good one, two, and three, and then the fourth quarter we uh, maybe thinking about what we're going to do after the game. But, uh, you know, like I say, I, I think the girls just need to calm down. Like I say, run the offense a little bit. They're hitting the cutters. The cutters are open. Uh, you know, we just got to be able to, to do something with it. Senators bring the ball across half court. Goes to Deaton. Deaton looks at Jayla Bat in the corner for just a moment. Deaton is definitely being hounded by Thompson. Bond comes out on Deaton, leaves it off to Adele Brown, where she's going to get to go to the line for two free throws. Sowers picks up her second. Adele Brown goes the line. She's a 75% free throw shooter on the year. Yeah, Adele, she's uh, she's got a new nickname, if you didn't know, Craig. That's a, that's Hot Roll. Hot Roll. Hot Roll. Well. Yeah, she came over there the night for Thanksgiving supper, and she was telling me about how many Hot Rolls she ate that day. I said, I'm, <laughs> wait till I tell your coach. You're going to have to run extra tomorrow. She knocks down one of two. Brings the lead back to 12, 17 to 5. Jackets able to break the pressure, bring it across half court. They're going to shoot a three, bang. Going for a deep three, deep three. Souders knocks that one down for her first bucket of the night. Cuts the lead to 11. Over in the corner to Brown. Brown back to Deaton. Deaton around to Schmidt. Looks like they're in a 2-3 zone now. Yeah, I, th I, I didn't know what they was in there for a second, but. Well, it definitely has our girls confused a little bit. <laughs> yeah, they. Bond puts that one up. It's no good. Thompson with the rebound. Adele smacks it out of, out of there. That's another deep three. That, or sorry, Deaton goes down into the corner, kicks it around to Schmidt, back to. Her sister, then out to Adele. Adele for three. That one no good. But Schmidt with the rebound. And then we're going to get it jump ball. Get tied up. Jump ball going to come the other way. Seventeen to eight. Three thirteen left to go here in the first half of play. Does Bond have all eight points for Mitchell? No, she has five. Oh, yeah, there's yep. a three-pointer. Souders knocked Souders down the three. three. Yep. 
Nice job by Schmidt to get her hand on that ball. You know, the ball's not crossed half court. I think the ref kind of quit counting. <laughs> Jackets work the ball down into the post, back to Bond. Bond turns, goes up, no good. Brown going to come out with the rebound. Ahead to Deaton where it's smacked out. Yeah, Ro Roop got her hands up and hit that one. And she was looking for that. Well, they know that the Senators want to get out and run, so as soon as right. the shot goes up, they're turning and going the other way. Brown in the corner for two. That one no good. Jayla rips it out. That one no good. <laughs> We're going to get a jump ball. So two misses there for the Senators and two rebounds. Doesn't get any points on the board. That's right. Senators inbound it to Deaton. Deaton down the lane where she then goes to the floor. Comes Griff's letting them play just a little bit. Meredith holding her elbow. <laughs> In the lane to Deaton, Deaton a couple of dribbles, then kicks it off to Bat. Bat going to walk. Mm. She wanted to throw it low to Meredith, and then she thought about yeah. it a little bit too it long. Was, it was open for a second, and then she thought about it, and then it wasn't open yep. anymore. So Thompson going to bring it across half court where she's picked up by Schmidt. But it <laughs> Not sure how the ball got out of bounds, yeah. their ball, but maybe Jayla wrapped it around when she deflected it. Behind the back yeah. uh, deflection. Jackets being hounded, Bond with the ball. We're going to get Deaton with the foul. Deaton from behind. She let that elbow in just a little too far. It's going to be her first. Third of the, sorry, fourth of the quarter. Bond is definitely controlling Mitchell's offensive end. Oh yeah, for sure. They look at look for her at all times. I think Meredith's the fourth person that we've had on Bond tonight. <laughs> Turnover number seven for the Jackets in the first half. Deaton going to inbound the ball to Schmidt. Was in the corner to bat, bat around to Deaton. Both Schmitz touch it, and it comes over the top to Deaton. Deaton looks at a three. She's going to drive. Nothing there around to bat. Senators running a little more offense this time. It's going to be a double dribble. Yeah, I think Elena thought that the other girl hit the ball just a little bit, and I kind of thought it from the angle I was at too, but – Going to even up the turnovers at seven apiece. You know, really what's got the Senators out to the lead is the 19 rebound they have in the first half. Yeah, they are rebounding fools. Thompson drives. Nothing there. She loses it for a second, but then gets it back. Going to hand it off to Souders. Deaton picks her up. Going to come back to Thompson. Thompson looks to drive down low to Bond. Bond, nice move. Up and good for two for her. It's her seven. Bat handles the ball out on the wing. Out top to Deaton. Deaton looking for the Senators to run their offense. Cutter down the lane is Deaton. Deaton up for two. That one no good. But Senators, three Senators there to chase it down. Off to Brown. Brown going to travel. All that work ends up in a turnover for the yeah, Lady Senators. Yeah, we're just, we just haven't found that rhythm yet. 26 seconds left to go here in the first. Senators lead by seven. Need to be really careful with Jayla here not to pick up a foul, and there it comes. <laughs> yep. So that's going to be Jayla's second foul. So we've got Bat with two, Griffiths with two, Manship with two, Woods with two, and Meredith Deaton with one. So 33 Jillian Bond steps up to the line. She 
She's going to shoot two here. First one up and good. We're going to see Macy Lowry come in so Jayla doesn't pick up number three in the first half. Yeah, we've had some foul trouble, but we don't think we've ever been this deep in foul trouble. Yeah. Second one up. It's no good. Schmidt with the rebound. Out to her sister. Abel Brown with a two. And then a long chuck that's no good. So that's going to bring us to halftime. Score is 19 to 11. Lady Senators out ahead. Uh, not a not a real great first half for the Lady Senators. They're led in scoring by Meredith Deaton with seven. Jay Labatt has four. Lily Thompson with two. Adele Brown with three. Layla Manship with one free throw. And Ava Woods with a two-point bucket. Uh, the Lady Jackets led in scoring by Jillian Bond with eight. And then Souders has three. So that's the only two uh, scores for the Lady Jackets. Lady Senators, two of six from the free throw line for 33%. Lady Jackets, four of eight from the free throw line for 50%. Lady Senators, seven of 21 from two-point range for 33%, and one of four from three-point range for 25%. So overall, they're eight of 25 for only 32% shooting. The Lady Jackets are two of 15 from two-point range, one of seven from three-point range. So they are three of 22 for 13% shooting. Lady Senators do lead the rebounding totals 21 to 11 and do have one more turnover than the Lady Jackets 8 to 7. So we're going to step aside for our um, commissioner's corner during halftime. We'll be back for second half of play here in a few moments. It's time for the Commissioner's Corner, an exclusive weekly conversation about Indiana high school sports with the Commissioner of the IHSAA, Paul Neidig. Now for an up-to-the-minute report about what's happening in the constantly changing world of high school sports, here's Coach Bob Lovell with Commissioner Paul Neidig. Welcome back, everyone, and welcome to our weekly conversation about all things IHSAA-related. Normally, we have the Commissioner. Paul Knighting with us, but we're honored to have Associate Commissioner Robert Falkins with us. Robert, thank you so much for being with us, and congratulations to you and everybody else on a tremendous show this weekend at Lucas Oil Stadium. Well, thank you, Coach, and uh, we're very, very proud of our state finals and our state championships, and uh, it's a great way for our coaches and our schools to uh, to 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 display what we do best in Indiana, and that is have a state championship. Yet great crowds, which is uh, seems to be the norm, and I think people lose sight of the fact in all of this that more and more of our student athletes in football, and really across the board, more and more of our football student athletes are signing uh, to play at high levels of college football, and the numbers seem to increase every year. Absolutely, I, I think football is so much better in Indiana over the past fifteen, twenty years, and. And again, we have to we have to thank those uh, those folks who who have really made an effort, and and one of the biggest contributors uh, have been the Indianapolis Colts. They have really gone out of their way to help us with respect to high school football in the state of Indiana. They host coaches clinics. They have camps for kids out there on their uh, West 56th Street complex, and and they're invested in youth football in the state of Indiana. And then we also have support from our our, our major institutions: IU, Purdue, Notre Dame. Uh, they help with our coaches and in, in getting our kids better. And this is an all-in effort from everybody in Indiana to, to make high school football better in the state of Indiana. There's no question. I think just watching those games as they unfolded, you could see the level of competition better. It was a, an historic weekend, though. You have, like in 1A, you had uh, two teams playing each other for the third consecutive year, which is unprecedented. Uh, one of a number of those types of situations where uh, records and accomplishments were, were the norm this weekend. Yeah, it, it you know again, uh, coach. It speaks to uh, how well our coaches prepare and how well our kids have taken up the game and, and really advanced their level of expertise and and technical abilities. Um, you know that that 
three that one a game with three times uh, Adams Central and Lutheran. It was, mm-hmm. it was those coaches know each other so well. Those kids know each other. It was a great game. They played hard. They smacked each other down. They picked each other up and got ready for the next <laughs> play. It was, it was wonderful. And, and when those kids come in on Wednesday for practice, you can see it's still not new. Even those kids that have been there three years, uh, it was their third year there for practice. It was kind of a cool thing to watch them enjoy the fact that they're playing there on Friday and Saturday and then Baker Mayfield and the and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and Indianapolis Colts are going to play there on Sunday and it, it's it's not lost on those kids and they certainly appreciate it and that's why kids work so hard to get there um, it, it was a lot of fun we had one of our SAC kids play in the 5A games and our SAC student advisory committee here with the IHSA played in the game won the middle attitude award and to see his his fellow SAC kids be as excited about it as he was that's what we're talking about when we talk about high school athletics is what the student enjoys with respect to uh, ex- advancing themselves with an athletic opportunity. And you had great crowds. And you had great – the, the cool th- – I always find it cool with the state finals is how involved our communities are with their student athletes when they get to the championship level. I'll give you a perfect example. Crown Point, first visit to Lucas Oil Stadium. They had 100 kids there, 85 on the field, 15 in the stands. They brought that many band members. They brought cheerleaders. They brought <laughs> pom pom girls. You know, when we talk about football, it is a community experience. And it's just not those 11, 22, 33, 55 kids on the field. It's everyone else that goes into what happens on Friday night uh, in Indiana with respect to football. He's Robert Falkins from the IHSAA, Associate Commissioner, uh, just wrapping up football last weekend. Robert, I appreciate your time. Congratulations again on a great tournament. And uh, we'll talk later throughout the rest of the IHSA season. Thanks for your time. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate it. Thanks for listening to The Commissioner's Corner with IHSAA Commissioner Paul Neidig and Coach Bob Lovell. And thank you for your continued support of the high schools in your community. Gates, Carnegie, Rockefeller, I'm not. Generous, caring, rich in spirit, I am. You don't have to be a person of great wealth to make an impact. When caring individuals give through a flexible, creative, capable organization known as a community foundation, our philanthropic potential is unlimited. As your local community foundation, we provide you the opportunity to permanently support the causes you care about both near and far. We do this by protecting and administering permanent funds through thoughtful grant making to improve the quality of life in the community we serve. Simply put, donors who give through a community foundation build sustainable, permanent funds called endowments through contributions big and small to support organizations they care about most, forever. Through the generosity of our many donors and the responsible, informed investment of permanent funds, We will increase our grant-making ability for the benefit of our community for generations to come. All we need is you. What causes are you passionate about? What organization matters most to you? We can help you ensure your charitable interests are supported forever. Donors can give to an existing endowment or establish their own. Some choose to give now, while others make their gift later through their will or estate plan. To learn what your options are, talk to your community foundation. We're here to help you reach your philanthropic goals. If you love our community, let's leave our little corner of the world a bit better than we found it. Not just today, but for future generations too. The Washington County Community Foundation has been making our home a terrific place to live, work, and play since 1993 through the generosity of donors just like you. Why? Well, just like you, We also really love our community. Back to live action here in T. Kermit Tower Gymnasium where the Lady Senators do lead 19 to 11 over the Lady Blue Jackets of Mitchell. Got to do my my duty. I told some people I'd give them some shout outs. So uh, Adam Brown, 
sent me a message today, said he was watching Coach's Corner, really liked it. So I'm um, going to give him a shout-out tonight. I know he said he was going to be either in the gym or at home listening. So, uh, Adam, if you're at home, big shout-out to you and your family. You're great supporters of the West Washington Athletics. You're in the gym quite a bit. Ryan, I know you said you had a couple of people who were at home still. Yeah, I know. Uh, I know uh, Laura's dad there, he's at home. My dad, he's at home watching on live stream. And, and uh, you know, like, like it's – pretty good gig you know, i was just telling you craig I, you know like the salem game the boys game i didn't i was out doing some stuff and didn't quite get in in time and kind of messages said hey i'm not going to be on you know at the game what what can i listen to and and you know like it, this is a great thing we got going here i, I mean i don't care if you probably don't want to listen to me talk or oh, whatever I do, I but, do. but at the same time you know it's it, it's a, it's a great thing that you get to, you know watch see what's going on like on my my instance you know my dad's sitting at home gets to watch jail play or whatever you know and and not have to get out and do something if they're feeling not, not feeling well or whatever but uh uh you know this this live stream you got going hats off to you because like this is this is a great thing well like you were saying um we still are running our black friday special so if you're if you're looking to buy the season there's uh, uh, before tonight there were 31 games so there's 30 games left it's a hundred bucks so that averages out to about three dollars yeah. and a quarter a game and it's worth every penny of it <laughs> so and that gives you access to everything we do over the next 10 months and you so. said something about the coach's corner is that you want to refresh everybody on that yeah so we do a senator sports talk every wednesday we start around 5 30 um of course there's certain circumstances where we're not gonna not gonna do the coach's corner if we're over a holiday break or something like that but you can look for it every wednesday we post it to our Facebook page. So if you're out there listening, uh, make sure that you search West Washington live stream in on Facebook. And we've got a Facebook page there where those all are located along with being on WWSR, our school radio, which if you're looking for that, you can go to your app store, whether you're a Google or a um, iPhone person, you can type it into your app store and it will look, uh, show up and then you can get our games anywhere in the world. Or maybe even outer space. I don't hey, know. It hey, may be. So... Lady Senators come out with their starting five. Going to get a quick turnover. Yeah, that was good defense by Shelby. She was – Thompson was wanting to get into – get back into Bond. And, you know, Woods played great defense on Bond that time, kind of doing the three-quarter around the front and, and not, not just trying to lay on top of her. So Griffith's off to bat. We do have Ava Woods back in. Schmidt gets it to Woods. Woods a couple of dribbles into Bond. Nothing there. Bat works it back around to Griffiths. Off to Deaton. Deaton to Bat. Back to Griffiths. Griffiths drives down the lane. A little hook shot. That one no good. But Woods there on the opposite side for the rebound and put back. And that's what we're talking about, Craig. If you watch that possession there, you've seen a lot of passing, a lot of cutting. We was active. We was going, going hard as we could. And that, that's where the Senators got to pick up. You're exactly right. Thompson going to do a majority of the ball handling for the Lady Jackets in the second half. They send a double at her. Going to be five seconds. Turnover for the Lady Jackets. Their second of the half. They're um, up to nine for the game. Griffiths off to Deaton. Deaton swings it to Bat. Bat for a deep two. Knocks that one down. The offense looks like it's running much better. The offense has right got a click to it. Yes, sir. <laughs> I don't know what Coach Missmore said at half, but it's got these girls worked up and they're playing a lot better in the first two minutes. Yeah, and as you're watching these girls play right now, everybody's got their hands up. Uh, you know, probably missed a box out right there, but, you know, we played good defense here the first trip down. Doing a good good job there. We end up with a jump ball. We're going to get the ball back on this. Uh, you know, like centers, they got the momentum going. We just need to keep it up. Right. Senators going to come back the other way. Griffiths doing the ball handling for them. Deaton starts to line up a three, comes off the bat, around to Schmidt. Deaton's got a post down there with Thompson. Bond going to come around and get that one. We need to pick any loose fouls. Yeah, though. let's not pick up a foul there. Comes off to Souders. Souders for three. That one no good. Bond underneath with the rebound and putback. Off to Griffiths. Griffiths around to Schmidt. Schmidt looking to drive. Comes back to Deaton. Senators working that offense. Deaton has the post established down low. 
She makes a turn and goes up and good for two for her. Yeah, and Thompson's trying to guard Deaton, and it's probably a, a one-foot advantage that, that Deaton has on Thompson. And you know, that's what we got to look for. Yeah, yeah. When when And Meredith knows she has her sealed, so you know, we got to reverse that ball just quicker on the other end. And we can send her to the post and have her more of a clear out type move there. Because Thompson's gonna need help. Bat with nice defense moving her feet there. Gets her hand on the ball and comes out with a steal. Ahead to Shelby Griffiths. Griffiths up and good for two for her. Gives her her first two of the night. Now we got a rhythm go. Senators out 27-13. Luke Mitchell's going to call a timeout. Full timeout by Coach Brasher for the Lady Jackets. We're going to step aside, have a commercial break, and be back in just a moment. Links Clothing and Shoes is proud to support West Washington Senator football and wish them a great season. Stop by and see us for all your school fan gear. We offer a wide variety of tees, hoodies, hats, and more. We also offer custom screen printing and embroidery for your team, business, or event. We are conveniently located on the north side of the Salem Square and have been serving our community for over 15 years. Our hours are Monday through Friday, 9 to 5.30, and on Saturdays, they're 9 to 3. Stop in or call us at 812-883-4154. That's 812-883-4154. Shop local and save. Back to action here on Ron Smith Court where the Lady Senators do lead 27-13 over the Mitchell Blue Jackets with 4.51 left to go in the third quarter. Like we said, coming into the game, you know, Mitchell has been the enigma for the Lady Senators. They are 1-20 over the past 21 times out. So, um, Yeah, we need to break that curse. Lady Jackets going to inbound the ball here right in front of their bench. Sauter dribbles it around, kicks it off to Roop. Roop down to Bond. Bond goes up for two. That one good. Gives her 12. Leading scorer in the game. Deaton, one dribble past. Leaves it off to Schmidt. Schmidt drops it off to Bat. Bat down the lane. That one gets all the rim, but no good. Deaton going to chase it down. Going to stay with the Lady Senators after uh, Kirkman. No, sorry, Moglin knocks that one around. Going to pick up a foul there on Roop. Going to be her first, first of the half. So it looks like we're going to get Lowry coming in, Deaton coming off. Looks like Deaton going to sit with Damian Miller, the athletic trainer, something going on with her. Underneath to Jayla, Jayla wide open. Bond going to block that one going to be unable to keep it inbound. So. Looks like maybe Deaton's getting her ankle taped or retaped. Woods down the lane. Yeah, I think she drug her foot. Yeah, she drug her foot. Going to be a turnover on Ava there. Just the first for the Lady Senators of the half. Eighth overall. Bond out top, couple of dribbles. Nice job by Jayla just to stay straight up there. It's hard to teach them kids to stay straight up. and You know, everybody wants to have that miraculously block shot like that. But, uh, you know, it's, it's just it's easy to keep your hands straight up. Don't move. Woods is going to pick up her third personal there. Bond goes back to the line. 
not going to comment on that one. That one's just a touch short, I guess. Yeah. And if you're Coach Massmore, I don't know where you go from here. I mean, Ava's yeah. got three, and, you know, you, you put Layla in there, and she could pick up three pretty fast. And, you know, even though we are ahead right now, I think you just got to keep Ava in there and give her some confidence that she can do this. Bond going to miss that second one, but going to be the rebound's going to be tied up. So uh, Mitchell going to take over here on the alternating possession. Oh, Jeannie Combs is at home watching. So give her a shout out. Claude here on the PA, but Jeannie at home watching. Yeah, I'm sure Claude will expect some biscuits and gravy or something to eat when he gets home, Jeannie. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad that they got it working because I know Claude was trying to watch the uh, semi-state football games and couldn't get it working. Oh, so oh. Jeannie's got it working. So That's good. Lady Jacket's going to turn it over there. Thompson coming back in for the Jackets. Ahead to Lowry. Lowry dumps it off to Woods, but not going to be able to control that one. That's an extra pass that probably doesn't need to happen. That yeah, one needs to go up. I really would have liked to see Lowry just dive right in there and do something. That girl there, she's got potential to, you know, drive in the basket. She's tall enough. She's long enough arm. She could go over top somebody. Right. Thompson handling the ball out top. Drops it off to Bond. Bond three dribbles down the lane up. Off the backboard, that one no good. Oh, a cheap foul. I don't know who they're going to give that one to. Uh, going to be Jayla Bat, her third, which didn't really want that to happen because, um, you know, she's one who can guard Bond in the post, so if she's picking up a foul not guarding Bond, that's a problem. Thompson steps up, knocks in that free throw. Lowry comes out, Deaton back in after the, the uh, tape job goes on. Thompson's second one up and good. Gives her two points on the night. Griffiths back to Deaton, over to Schmidt. Schmidt goes to the center of the floor off of Jayla Bat's foot. Gonna be a turnover for the Lady Senators. Ahead to Thompson. Schmidt does a nice job of getting her hand on it. Officials kind of out of position on that one, so they're looking to get reset, just like the girls are getting reset. Comes into Bond. Woods still on her with three. They want to do a clear out here with Bond. And Ava's got to keep her feet moving. Nice job by Woods to stay in front of her. And then blocking out. So great job there by Woods on that possession. Deaton looks at a three, drives down the lane. Good for two. Gives her 11. Senators much better shooting in the second half. Five of seven for 71%. Yeah, that beats that 32% in the first half. <laughs> yeah. Three-pointer by Mitchell. That one no good. Bond going to come out of there and get her two. Yeah, the only person around was Jayla, and I'm pretty sure she wasn't going to foul her to pick that fourth foul up. Yeah. Thompson going to pick up her second. She meets Emma Schmidt kind of in a no man's land. Layla Manship comes in for Jayla Bat. Ball comes across half court. They leave it off for Deaton. Deaton for three. That one no good, but Woods rebound one power dribble up and no good. But she's going to go to the line. Souther's going to pick up that foul. He said Sowers picked that one up. Yep. So Woods goes to the line. Where she is a 58% free throw shooter on the year. That one, nothing but net. Gives her five on the night. One more, and she's over her season or over her season average. So that one good too. So perfect on the night. Gives her six. 
135 left to go. Senators up 31-19. Kicks it around to Bond. Bond quickly stops. Manship picks her up, gets a hand on it, goes off two senators. Schmidt going to come out of it, come out of there with it going the other way. Good drive by Schmidt. Schmidt misses that one. Going to be a jump ball. Lady Jacket's going to take over on the alternating possession. You know, we talked about Bond there at halftime. She was up there with Damian getting her knee worked on or fixed or something. Yeah. And, and, you know, it hasn't slowed her down in the second half. There's a turnover for the Lady Jackets. Meredith Deaton comes across, hands it off to Griffiths. Griffiths down the lane. Nothing there. Runs into Bond. Going to stay with the Lady Senators. It's one of those things that Shelby needs to know what she's going to do whenever she gets down low like that. Yeah. She got there and then wasn't right. Ran out of room, ran out of real estate. Ooh. That one comes off of Schmidt's face. She's able to keep a hold of it down the lane. Leaves it short, but Woods is there. Woods with the put back for two. Woods with eight. There's a turnover for the Jackets. Schmidt's all over the place. Left off for Deaton. Deaton good for two. Stretching that lead out. 35-19. Under 20 to go. I hope that's not on Layla. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I know you hope it's not, but it is. She steps right in there. So her third, we had problems in the first half with them picking them up when they were guarding Bond, and then now everybody seems to be picking them up for other people other than Bond. Right. So Thompson back to the line. That one, another good one for her. That makes three free throws for her. Team is three of five in the second half for 60%. They were only 50% in the first half, so improvement from one half to the next. Second one left short. Blocked by Woods. We got a football <laughs> scramble going on. I, I don't know about you, but I wouldn't want to go in there against Layla Manchin. No, I, <laughs> no I, I would say between her and Bond, I would. I yeah, would, uh, they, they ran into each that. other. And that was a, a, a pretty bad collision there. We're going to step aside for a short commercial break from the IHSA. We'll be back in just a moment. Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance, we're not just good at insurance. We're good at Matt's one-car, two-bedroom apartment with a home office slash home gym insurance. You, yeah. We're good at Nick's SUV and farmhouse with a remodeled kitchen slash art gallery insurance. And we're good at the Wilbur suburban home with the two-car garage slash rehearsal space insurance. Have you seen my hockey socks? Have you checked your sock drawer? Start with Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance and stop knocking on wood. Back to action here on Ron Smith Court where the Lady Senators are up by 15, 35 to 20 over the Mitchell Blue Jackets. Ryan, that third quarter looked a lot better. Hey, you know, we came out in that third quarter and we kind of played Senator basketball. And, and uh, you know, we, we was looking for the drives. We was, we was making that extra pass and maybe that extra cut. Had a few things going for us that maybe we didn't have going in that first half and looked really good in that third quarter. I know, our, I know our percentage has to be better in the third quarter than it was in the first half. Oh, yeah, it was 64% in the third quarter. Yeah, so. yeah. You know, Lady Senators do put up 16 points in that quarter, so that's the biggest quarter for them so far in this game. They had 12 in the first and 7 in the second, so much better quarter for them. Lady Senators going to get the ball to start the fourth. Comes off to Deaton. Deaton hounded by Thompson. Comes off to Griffiths. Griffiths back to Deaton on the wing. Across the top to Manship. Manship leaves it off to Schmidt. Schmidt, one dribble towards the lane and back out to Griffiths. Yeah, I thought Schmidt should have just took that shot. Shelby cleaning it up there with two points. Yeah, it gives her four. 
Thompson crosses half court. They're going to look to get it to Bond down low with Manship guarding her. Yep, going to be a travel on Bond. I like to see that travel call. Yeah. That could have been four on Layla. That gives them eight in this half, 15 in the game. Lady Senders doing a nice job to break this press just back and forth to the center and then uh, get it out to the wing underneath to Woods. Woods up and good for two. Nice pass there by the Lady Senators. Gives Woods 10 in the game. This is definitely the kind of game that Ava Woods needs. Yep. Thompson underneath, no good. Nice pass, outlet pass from Meredith to Schmidt. Schmidt up and good for two for her. Her first two of the night, 41-20. Senators out to a 21-point lead. Underneath the Bond. Bond has four Senators on her. And Manship going to pick up the foul. Gonna get that fourth foul. Going to be four on Manship. Bond steps up and knocks that one down. So we hear from Coach Messmore that the two bigs now are going to switch. Manship's going to switch over to number four. Ava Wood's going to pick up Bond. Knocks that one in, gives her 16. Ooh, Manship going to travel. Fourth turnover of the half, 12 in the game. Jacket's able to get it inbounds. Goes up, no good for two. Deaton comes out with the rebound. Deaton with a pull-up jumper. That one no good. Yeah, and Little Schmidt's <laughs> in there again. Thompson going to pick up her third. I couldn't tell there were three jackets there. Out top to Schmidt. Schmidt. Brings it back to the center and going to set up the offense. You know, I'd like to see Meredith drive. She goes down to the post. Going to be one dribble. Kick it back out to Griffiths. Griffiths, another dribble. Schmidt for three. That one no good. Layla Manship tracks it down. Going to stay with the Lady Senators. Ooh, that was a dangerous pass that was right very there. Very dangerous. <laughs> Deaton unable to get by Thompson. Kicks it underneath. Leaves it off to Woods. Woods, a nice turn. Goes up and gets it. And one opportunity for her. Nice job by Woods. Fouls on Bond, her second. Woods goes back to the line. Going to be one free throw, not two, because she made the bucket. 5.31 left to go here in the fourth. That one up and good for her. She's perfect on the night. You know, we needed this out of Ava to come in here and get some points racked up, get her some confidence back. There's a three-point bucket from Souders. Going to be a full timeout. We're going to step aside, have a commercial break from Sullivan Financial. We'll be back in just a moment. Expertise, resources, commitment. At Sullivan Financial, we offer a team approach to financial planning, offering you a broader scope of expertise than you will likely find in any one person. Clients are our main priority, which is why we work to understand your unique circumstances and ultimately create a distinctive plan that provides a roadmap for your financial journey. 
Located in Mitchell, Indiana, they can be reached at 812-849-2670. That's 812-849-2670. Back to live action here as the Lady Senators do lead 44-25, 523 left to go in the game here. Lots of fouls for the Lady Senators. They, uh, they're struggling to stay out of foul trouble every time they kind of get a run going. They uh, are unable to sustain it because they get, they get fouls picked up. So, Lady Senator's going to inbound the ball. Meredith Deaton goes all the way over the top to Woods. Woods a couple of dribbles to bring it across half court. Deaton swings it around to Manship, off to Griffiths. And then we're going to get a turnover for the Lady Senders. Yeah, I think Shelby threw that ball in her thumb, caught her jersey. <laughs> <laughs> going to be the fifth turnover of the half. Thompson feeds to Bond. Bond, three power dribbles around to Manship. Going to throw that one up. That's the first time they haven't called a foul on anybody <laughs> when Bond took the ball to the basket. Yeah. Going to miss that one, but they're going to say that Manship got a piece of it, so we're going to give her a block for that I'll one. Give her, I'll take the block instead of the foul. Yeah. Nice defense there by Woods. Deaton going to come out with the rebound, swings it across to Griffiths. Senators looking just to eat some clock here. Nobody there for Woods. Woods up and good for another two-point bucket, 15 on the night, leading scorer for the Senators. Deaton hounds the Lady Jackets. They're looking for Bond underneath. That ball goes up, no good. Bond going to go up and get another opportunity. Wood's going to pick up her fourth foul. Bond goes to the line where she's got 16 already. You know, we talked about Bond. She's, a, she's just a bigger, stouter. You know, kind of probably the bigger player that we've we've uh, met all season long, to be honest about it. Yeah. As far as a post position, uh, you know, something that we need to work on as far as when we meet those big players, how do we handle them? Yeah, you're exactly right. You know, this is the first true big that we've seen. I know looking ahead to the boys tomorrow night, they've, they're they going to see a true big 6'9 um, center from Eastern. So, they're gonna they're gonna get a dose of this. Yeah. <laughs> Senators working the ball around the top. Lady Jackets look like they're kinda in a two three zone deep for three. Bang. Sixteen on the night for her. You know, we talked shooting percentages. Second half, Lady Senators 12 of 17 for 71 percent from two point range and they're one of three from three-point range. So really kind of turn that. Yeah, they tur they've turned around. A turn little. that around. It's a different team that came out in the second half to play basketball. <laughs> Into Bond, Bond power dribble up. That one no good. Unable to get her own rebound. Griffiths comes out with it. Drives down the lane. We're going to get a foul on Bond. Going to be her third. 3-12 left to go here in the fourth. Shelby Griffith's going to go to the line where she's a 58% free throw shooter. Two dribbles. What's that one fly? That one good for Shelby. Gives her five on the night. Gets her her, av her season average. Two more dribbles, second one up. That one a little long, no good. First free throw miss for the Senators in the second half. 
Thompson off to Bond. Layla Manship picks her up out at the three-point line. Going to be a travel on the Jackets. Nine in the half. In comes 21, Ella Gherkin, the sophomore. Yeah, Mitchell doesn't do very many substitutions. I think they played, what, seven people maybe tonight. Yeah. Shelby gets by, kicks it off to Schmidt. Schmidt over to Deaton. Deaton looking through the offense, looking through the options. Coach Messamore saying, run it through again, run it through again. Going to get a foul on Ella Gherkin. Her first. Fourth in the quarter for the Lady, Sen or for the Lady Jackets. Deaton inbounds the ball to Schmidt. Schmidt off to Deaton. Deaton around to Manship, off to Griffiths. Senators just looking to run their offense. I'm not sure Manship's the one you want handling the ball no, 30 what, feet from yeah, the bucket. Yeah, we're kind of kind of off on that rotation, I believe. That's going to be Gherkin's second personal. They're looking to extend this game a little bit. So we're going to see Schmidt go to the line, 67% on the year. Looking to get points three and four. That one up and good for Emma. Makes it 51-27, 2.17 left to go. Two more dribbles. That one's long. Thompson. It seems like there's butter all over that ball. She yeah. can't hold on to it, and she's yeah. giggling about it too. So, going to be Emma Schmidt's first personal. For third of the quarter for the Lady Senators. Into Thompson. Thompson gets around the corner. Going to hit the support. So, going to be a dead ball there. Lady Senators get it. Griffiths brings the ball across half court. Off to Manship. A couple of dribbles for her off to Deaton. Back to Schmidt. Off to Manship. Manship up and good for two. Nice, nice bucket move. by her. Gives her three on the night, 53-27. Bond, nice reverse pivot there. Going to pick up a foul. I don't know who this is going to be on. No. That's going to be Manship. Manship. That's all for her tonight. That's her fifth foul. She's going to check out of the game with three points and five personal fouls. So nice job there by Layla Manship. Does a good job on Bond all night long. Yep. We see Adele Brown check into the game. Looks like the Senators are in a 2-3 zone here. Comes across the top from Bond down to Thompson. Thompson gets it blocked. Going to be a jump ball. Yeah, we'll take the block. That yeah. was going to be Ava's fifth foul <laughs> as well. Ava was talking. She's like, I, I didn't foul anybody on yeah. that one. <laughs> so 22, Roop going to take the ball out. Comes into Bond. Bond with a jumper. That one no good. Adele Brown comes out the other way. Griffiths over to Deaton. Senators running through their offense. Yeah, and that's what they need to do right now. There's Meredith on a good seal. Ava wide open. Gets blocked by Vaughn. Back out to Deaton out top. She comes back, sets up the offense again. <laughs> Adele Brown yeah. gets it down in the post, and yeah. she's like, ah, yeah. no. Probably not today. <laughs> especially not with 5'11 Bond lurking on the other side, just waiting for you to turn into her. 22, Root picks up that foul, her second. 
Shelby Griffith's going to go to the line. Looking for points six and seven here. That one no good. Senators five of eight in the second half for 62.5%. Much better than the 33% they shot in the first half. Bond going to check out 42 seconds left. Bond with 18 points tonight. Big, big night for her. Griffith's second one up and good. Had a good roll on that one. She's been in the barn shooting. Yeah. Wood steps in front of that one. Nice job by her. Another turnover for the Lady Jackets. 10 in the half, 17 on the night. Deaton working the ball over to Brown. Brown moves it back to Griffith or to Schmidt. Back to Griffiths. Over to Brown again. I believe the center is just going to run some offense here. Yeah, four seconds left. Lady Senators do pull this one out 54 27. Lady Senators led in scoring by Meredith Deaton with 16, her season average. Second leading scorer is Averill Woods with 15. Then we come down to Shelby Griffiths with six, Jayla Batt with six, Emma Schmidt with three, Lily Thompson with two, Adele Brown with three, and Layla Manship with three. Lady Jackets only get three people in the scoring column, 18 for Jillian Bond, six for Anna Sowers, and three for Leanne Thompson. Uh, the Lady Senators do shoot. Let me get it up. I can't find it. Hang on. There we go. The Lady Senators um, shoot for the game. Eight of 15 from the free throw line for 53%. They shoot 30, or they shoot 20 of 39 from two point range for 51%. Two of seven from three point range for 28%. So overall, they are 22 of 46 for 47%. The Lady Jackets shoot 11 of 17 from the free throw line for 64%, 5 of 28 from two-point range for 17%, and 2 of 10 from three-point range for 20%. So overall, they are 7 of 38 for 18%. The big um, one that stands out for me is the rebounds. 33 for the Senators, 17 for the Jackets. And then turnovers, 13 for the Senators, 17 for the Jackets. So... Lady Senators, just a little bit too much for the Mitchell Jackets. Uh, tonight, they move that overall record to 20 and two. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Hey, you know, you know, the Senators came out there with that. Uh, you know, the first half we talked 32 percent, and you know, but Mitchell was shooting 13 percent, so we was we were still a little bit better there. But uh, you know, to come out in that third quarter and we kind of got a rhythm going, we kind of got things going. Uh, you know, we did get in foul trouble, probably the most foul trouble we've had all, all season, I guess. But, uh, you know, I, I don't know how many players we have. Uh, what do we have, seven or eight players on the on the floor with points tonight yeah. and probably rotated in 10 or 11 uh, throughout the game. So, uh, you know, Lady Senators really coming in here and working together. We're still – you know, I still can't tell you that we found a, a five that – is our go-to five. You know, like we come out here with a smaller lineup there and did just a little bit better than we normally had. And then, uh, you know, there's some nights we come in here with a big lineup and do better than we normally had. We, You know, it's great to see Layla come in here and, and contribute some – uh, very good defense, even though, she, you know, she fouls out with five fouls. But, uh, you know, she had a good defensive night. She stopped the ball a few times. She had lots of rebounds. Uh, Ava Woods coming in here, you know, uh, you know, uh, you, you expect Meredith, to, Meredith or Jayla or, or, you know, one one of them to kind of lead the points in scoring. But, you know, Ava needed this. Uh, she came in and she did, she did some good box outs. She was wide open. She did good post moves. Uh, Ava really needed this tonight, and I think it's, it's good for Ava to come in here and, and uh, do that. You know, Ava with four fouls, you know, we, we kind of commented there, you know, like, uh, you know, we, we got to keep her on the ground, keep her feet moving, keep her hands up. But, uh, you know, overall tonight I think, you know, Emma Schmidt played an outstanding defensive game and had, you know, I don't know how many rebounds she had, but she probably had as, as many rebounds as anyone else. And being the smallest kid on the court, uh, you know, that, that's something to compliment her about. But, you know, all around, everyone that contributed tonight, uh, you know, we did, we had a great game. And, uh, uh, you know, I think the Senators kind of need that extra momentum. We we come out flat in the first half, and that's something we're going to have to work work on and, and uh, uh, you know, figure out what, what our uh, 
what our problem is, I guess, in the first half. But, uh, you know, it seems like we've come in the second half and just kind of, you know, got our momentum together. And maybe maybe that's – we're a second-half team. I don't know. But uh, as long as we're ahead, I guess that, that's not something to worry about. But, you know, we're going to get into a little bit tougher schedule as the time goes on, especially after Christmas break. And, uh, you know, we got we got to work on that and kind of fix what we're struggling on. You know, you, you let into it. Our next few games are on the road. So Perry Central on the road. Uh, for the girls, then Eastern on the road, Orleans on the road. So the next time we'll be back here with girls action is December 14th with Crothersville. Um, next week, or sorry, yeah, next week, lots of action um, here. It's all junior high action. So we've got the junior high boys with Medora on the 4th. We've got junior high boys with Mitchell on the 5th, and then junior high boys with Brownstown on the 7th. So lots of lots of action here on live stream. Um, most of it this next week is going to be um, junior high because the boys are on the road. The girls are on the road, so junior high is turned to uh, shine. All of those games are going to be here on Ron Smith Court, so you can tune in to West Washington Livestream to see all of those in action. Yeah, I'm going to have to get on to Mr. Darren Russell about that. I, I want my junior high girl to be on there, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, so I'll tell you what. The junior high girls come later in the season. Oh, it I seems like January the girls are at home more, so they're on the on the uh, Ron Smith court, so they will yeah. be um, live come January. I think there's three, three games in one week that they're here on Ron Smith court, so we will have them in action. Um, but I'd like to thank all of our sponsors out there who um, allow us to bring you these games. We've got Sullivan Financial, the Washington County Community Foundation, Ryan Batt, um, Gilstrap Motors, Lynx Clothing and Shoes, Michael Long, the Washington County Awareness. Um, I believe that got all of them in. Oh, your dad with Bat oh, Farms yeah. also. Got to get him in there. Uh, you know, thank you for all of those um, sponsorships and donations. That allows us to bring you these games um, when they're available. Those of you listening on WWSR, games are always on WWSR. They're also on the IHSA website. So if you're looking for those games, they're there. If you're looking for a schedule, it's on our Facebook page. So lots of information out there for you to be able to get. Also, one last plug for that Black Friday deal still going on. If you're looking to uh, see all 31, 30, 30 games now that are left on the schedule, um, they're a great price. You get them for $3 and a quarter um, if you buy the whole season. Um, at 100 bucks, that gets you your, your whole season for the next nine, sorry, next ten months. So good deal there. Sounds like a great deal. Yeah. Ryan, final thoughts? Hey, you know, I tell you what, Craig, we're uh, I, I still stand behind it. I said it from day one. Uh, you know, this is a good group of girls. They're good good kids, uh, uh, very athletic, along with great scholars. And, you know, they, they work together. We just got to we got to find that rhythm. Uh, you know, like I say, we talked a little bit earlier, you know, we're coming out, we think we're going to play fast and haul, long and, and, you know, get that score up and up and down the court. And we kind of come out draggy. And then we come in the third quarter and we kind of pick things back up. Uh, I, th I, th I think we just got to put it all together. I think the coaches will kind of see what's going on and we'll get them regrouped in there. Other than that, I think we're going to – I'm going to take my two girls. I'm going to head north and go to – the Hoosier Beef Congress oh, tonight. There you and go. We're going to drive to Indianapolis tonight and uh, <laughs> feed our cows. So, there you go. There yeah, you go. Yeah, great, great time here on Ron Smith Court, though. You know, Lady Centers pull out a win, and, you know, with that, you know, we, we was at 32%, you know, field goal shooting, end up with 51 and 33 rebounds. That's that's crazy in yeah. high school girls basketball. Yep. So good, good job for the Lady Senators. Lady Senators move to 6-2 and two with their win over Mitchell tonight, 54-27. We're going to send everything back to regular programming.